Democrats this weekend calling on a Republican Bob Spindell to resign or be removed from the Wisconsin Elections Commission. This after recent comments he wrote about Milwaukee's lower voter turnout in 2022, specifically in black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Bob Spindell is a Republican member of the Wisconsin Elections Commission. Bob, good to see you. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much for having me. As you know, this past week, growing and new calls for you to resign from the commission. Are you considering that at all? No, absolutely not. And I think what the Democrats need to do is look at how they lost because of their Phil Biden type policies, high crime in Milwaukee, inflation, education. Uh, with several of these issues we try to put forth in our talk shows, we have a, a black talk show, as you know, twice a week and radio ads. And I think that's why many of these people have become disinfected and dischanted with um, coming out to vote, including those in the minority community. Let's talk about one of the comments that's received attention sure. in the emails that you wrote in January to Republicans that they can be especially proud that 37,000 fewer voters were cast in 2022 than 18 in Milwaukee, a majority happening in black and Hispanic neighborhoods. Why proud? Well, you know, the it was proud that, that finally the Republicans uh, Party Wisconsin and the Republican National uh, Committee, after all these years and pushing hard, decided to finally put in necessary resources to the uh, city of Milwaukee. Looking back, would you have worded this any differently? No, I, I think it's it's taken out of context uh, from what, um, and I, I think anybody would see that, that actually it was uh, taken out of context and that the uh, uh, it was not you know, we like to have as many people vote. And in the city of Milwaukee, there is no easier place to vote than the city of Milwaukee. Is your goal to keep more Milwaukee voters no, at home no, as opposed think, to voting for Democrats? You know, I think you got to look at the state statutes. And the state statutes, is very clearly that people should not be forced to vote. And some people just don't want to vote. And what we're going to do is try and persuade people that, hey, if you're going to come out and vote, then you should vote for Republicans. And I've said many times on uh, open meetings, and I will not stand for any suppression of the vote, especially in the black and the Hispanic communities, especially in Milwaukee. Some which I've worked hard over these 20 years to do it. Some Democrats this past week, as you know, have accused you of being a racist. Are you? No, I, I think they should take a look at my past experience over the many years in the black community. So I think the Democrats in the city of Milwaukee should take a look and see and not, not blame me because they're not able to get people out to vote as they expected and demanded from those communities. And people are recognizing now that, hey, you know, uh, maybe they're not treating us, uh, uh, you know, as well as possible. Democrats have also called on Senate Majority Leader Lemahieu to remove you if you don't resign. He appointed you. Have you spoken with Senator Lemahieu in recent days? No, no, I haven't. Do you anticipate that you will speak with him? Or no, I, I don't think there's anything uh, here to, to talk about. I'm not resigning on this. There is nothing. All we did is point out how the Democrats failed in the uh, trying to get people out in the city of Milwaukee and how the Republicans finally, after all these years, are making major efforts to try and win over the uh, the minority and the uh, blacks and the Hispanic community, which they had not done in the past, and that the Republicans now are very, very serious and we're keeping our offices, keeping the talk shows going, keeping everything going to make sure that we're even going to do better next time. State Senator Latanya Johnson is one of the Democrats calling for Spindell's removal. Senator, welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being here. So we just heard Bob Spindell say that it was Democrats who failed to get blacks and Hispanics out to the, the polls to vote. Your reaction? That is just... <laughs> The thing that irritates me most about Bob Spindell and the Republican Party is that every effort that they made was intentional and strategic to suppress the votes in the black and Hispanic um, communities. They did everything necessary to make sure that those individuals were deterred from going to the polls to vote. He's said time and time again that it's extremely hard to get someone who has voted generationally for the Democratic Party to switch overnight. So rather than take the time to earn those votes and to get those individuals to um, switch over to the Republican Party, they decided that the best thing that they could do is to make sure that those individuals 
felt so bad about the Democratic Party that they wouldn't go to the polls to vote at all. And that is the epitome of suppression. And so we do know that voter turnout was low in 2022. Do you think that Democrats have taken the black vote for granted or what inroads are, are the Democratic Party making in those communities? I do not believe that the Democratic Party has taken those votes for granted. I myself worked exceptionally hard this last election cycle, knocking on doors, asking people to please go out and vote and talking to them about how important their vote is. And that's something that I thought that the Republican Party was doing too. But now I find out that their strategy was to um, keep as many voters at home as possible, especially Democratic voters. We just heard Bob Smendel say that he is not going to resign. He told Matt Smith that he is not going to resign. We have no indication that Devin Lemahieu is going to, to intervene uh, in any case. What's next for Democrats? Well, you know, we also heard um, Bob Spindale say that he wasn't a racist either. And that was just blatantly not true because the actions that him and the Democratic, the Republican Party of Wisconsin and the Republican National Committee, the focuses that they made targeting minority communities, minority communities that are supposed to be a protected class, um, just shows just how racist they are. The Republicans will host the national convention in Milwaukee in 2024. Right now, the host committee tells us that they are trying to make connections and partnerships with minority owned businesses. Do you think that black owned businesses should be a part of the RNC in 2024? I do. I do think that businesses should be, especially black owned businesses, should be a part of the RNC because they are going to need that money to sustain their business. But I do hope that they caution themselves and they realize that Republicans aren't out for their best interest in terms of their livelihood, in terms of their quality of life, or even their children's quality of life. State Senator Lear Tanya Johnson, thank you so much for being here for your insight and analysis. We appreciate it. Thank you. Up next, a note about this show.